好。Oh, What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of It's Howling Time with the Howling Wolf. Here, gonna give you my selections for February fifth, two thousand and twenty-one. The track I'm gonna do is Santa Anita Race Track. It is gonna be race number seven. It is the Baffle Stakes going six and a half furlongs on the turf. We got a field of nine running. I'm going to be giving you my top selection plus my horse to watch. My top selection is going to be the number nine, Beer Can Man, is by Can the Man out of a Dinoformer Mare. Last time ran was on December 27th at Santa Anita, going a mile distance on the turf, on a firm turf, for a $75,000 stakes race. Got third by three and three quarters lengths. Got bumped at the start, had to go wide of one eighth, and then got third by the finish line. Was coming up, but got tired out. The time before that, it ran on November 29th in the Eddie Logan Stakes, going a mile distance for a hundred thousand dollar purse. Was able to win that race by half a length. Was inside, got shifted out a bit, and then just went up driving. Through into the finish line. The workouts have been on on January seventeenth at Santa Anita, going forty eight point six seconds handily, was the seventeenth best at his fifty seven workouts that day. Secondly, the last workout was on January twenty eighth, going four furlongs on the fast track at Santa Anita. Did it in 50 seconds handily flat. Was the 49th best at the 50 at the 71 workouts that day. Excuse me. What I see with this one is that that the last race when it got bumped in the start, it lost all ability to get up there well into great position. Is running against a foe that is running in this race too. That got second, Commander Kai. But with the bump in the start, in the slowness, it had to go a little bit wide. I think if it gets a good clean start here and no issues start to happen, you may see this one coming up fast and late and better than getting better than third in here. Possibly even getting a good win at a good decent price. The odds that right now Mori line is at four to one. So you can see probably going to three to one or even two to one. So without insane, you gotta look out for this one coming up strong and late. The times that I see with this one that it has been first a couple of times. But the other times that I've not seen talked about here in the back stretch, it's been going five furlongs. So it has the ability to stretch out. It has the ability to cut short and distance as well. So we'll see how this six and a half for long race is. He could get into position. Well, it has one Hernandez aboard, which has won aboard this horse once in the Eddie Logan and got that third from that bad start in the strat in the start. Excuse me. So again, for my top selection in the Baffle Stakes in race number seven, it is the number nine, Beer Can Man, at Morning Line Odds at four to one. Now it's time for my my horse to watch, my long shot in a way, which I believe may come up late if nothing happens. It is going to be the number seven, Exhaling. It is by Chalu out of a wild event mare. The last time it ran was on October 25th of 2020. 
It was at Golden Gate Fields in a allowance optional claiming fifty thousand dollars. Non winners of one was able to win that race by three lengths. Was sprinted and cleared out handily. The time before that it ran on October fourth of two thousand twenty, going five furlongs, well five and a half. Did it in a straight starters fifty thousand k race. Was able to win that race by six furlongs. Then the time before that, it ran on September 26 of 2020, going five furlongs on the grass. Did it in, in a maiden special weight for thirty thousand dollars. Was able to win that race by three and a half lengths. It's getting Edward and Edward Aldamado aboard. Excuse me. It just needs to get a quick ability with this one with the stretch out to six furlongs. I'm saying we'll ha be able to handle it. The workouts and the running lines have been showing it. The workouts have been on January 18th going five furlongs on fast track in St. Louis Ray. Did it in one minute point. Two zero point zero two point two handily. It was the best of the only workout that day. Then the last workout was on January twenty seventh, going four furlongs on the fast track and San Luis Ray, going fifty seconds handily, was the seventh best of the nine workouts that day. Like I was saying, with this one, the stretch out and distance. Is to be a plus. The only thing will it be able to handle this up in class in a stakes race. That's the one thing. It shows that it'll be able to run and handle the distance and the running style. It's to see if Edwin Maldonado could get this horse into position well to show its ability that it had in the five furlongs. It's just going to have to hold off a bit. Not sprint quarter horse it, but maybe hold off behind another pace setter, then make its move into the turn. So that's what I say with this one for my my horse to watch. It's gonna be the need is that's what it's gonna need. So again, for my horse to watch in the baffle stakes in race number seven, it is the number seven exhaling. At morning line odds at six to one. Okay, to recap my selections, my top selections will be the number nine, Beer Can Man. My horse to watch, it is the number seven, Exhaling. At morning line odds at six to one. If you'd like to hear some more of my selections, I'll be giving out my selections on another podcast very soon on another race, very soon. So if you keep listening, and when you're cashing with the wolf, it's howling time. Good luck, everyone, and let's make some money. <laughs>